Nathan's spindles, um, gigantic spindles, because, um, yeah, when we were travelling, uh, at one point we spent two months away, we were in Iceland for a month and then Slovenia, and the whole time we were away I really missed the spinning wheel uh, to do art yarns, because I've got a sp you know, spindles to do fine yarn work. Um, so, yeah, when we got back I started making some giant spindles, so it's also when we're travelling in our van as well, it's nice to be able to do some gigantic art yarns. So here's a couple that are in progress. You can see them. Okay. And um, yeah, especially in Iceland, I really missed spinning art yarns because I was surrounded by this amazing wool culture there. And uh, in Reykjavik, the Icelandic Wool Association have beautiful carded walls ready to spin. So I brought some back with me, but I just really wanted to spin it when I was there. And as I say, when we're travelling in the van, it's really nice to be able to make um, beautiful big art yarns. So these are going to be, I'm over spinning these because I'm going to be doing some art yarn plying with them. But there's a couple of them that are almost finished, ready to ply with each other. Uh, I, have, um, I generally have a few available on our Etsy shop and each one's unique and a bit of a surprise because you'll get different patterns on them and uh, they've, you can have them with or without bells and pom-poms but I really like them with all the bells and things on because I love it when they jingle when I'm spinning and I really really like that and I try and make them as magical as possible so this one is mine and I don't really make these kind of, this one's quite wonky um, and I really love it because it's really rustic and magical and lovely. Um, but the ones that I do for the Etsy shop are all as straight as possible because it just makes it easier to spin with. Obviously it's not throwing it off centre when you're spinning. Um, yeah, so I'll just spin with one for a little while. So you can see them working. So when they've got the pom poms on and the bells on, the bells make a sound while you're spinning. And the pom poms. They're really nice to spin with. They take a little bit of practice because they're so big. Um, and sometimes I make the spindles that are even bigger than this. Um, I have one that's even bigger. Fibre that I'm working with is recycled fibre and it's quite tough on my drafting, so I'm doing a parking draft on this one. Um, so that I can have both hands free with time to draft it. Uh, so I could have carded it by now, but I didn't want to, I wanted it kind of lumpy and lumpy. fibre that I've carded together is kind of lots of um, lots of things out of the bottom of the box that I use for my felting students when they've got a little bit um, you know and the of them kind of <coughs> handled too much for their students and I put it into a separate box and I use that so I can put fresh nice fibre out for students. But I always use it up in my spinner. So I like it. the link to our Etsy shop in our Instagram bio. And um, yeah, so each one's a surprise. So